We start at 9 with a Fox 10 News alert near the Grand Canyon. Major flooding tonight in Tucson. The Park Service says the Highway 64 South entrance into the park is closed. Coconino County Emergency Management is monitoring this situation and sending more resources to help out. But people in the area tell us they've gotten those emergency alerts on their phones. People telling us in Tucson and Grand Canyon Village, they were told to shelter in place. And for some, that means they are not able to return home tonight. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us live in the newsroom with the latest Lindsay. John and Christina, not only is this impacting drivers, it's also impacting students who had to stay at school. We spoke with a mother who has been waiting hours for her three kids to get dropped off back home. Severe flooding closed State Route 64 in Tucson around 4:30 this evening, a site residents are not used to. We were notified a little bit later by my manager on the seriousness of the situation. I went online and I saw on Facebook all the pictures and posts and videos on the flooding in the, which is like about a mile from where we are. Debris, construction equipment, cars, and some homes damaged by the consistent rainfall. Well, there's a lot of debris that have floated right into the road. I saw videos of like a dumpster going into the road and they're also rebuilding and remodeling the um, McDonald's that we had right down the streets. And so I think a lot of their equipment also got in like um, into the street area as well. A Grand Canyon school's mother got this email from the district updating parents throughout the evening as students waited on campus for roads to clear. I was just like concerned uh, that they're going to be home a little later. I know they're going to be like safe inside the school because we have great staff at the school that make sure everyone is safe and protected. Although the flooding caused a delay in seeing her three kids, she's looking at the positives. It's definitely done some damage today due to all the moisture we've had over the past few days. We've been needing this storm because of the drought we've had over the past few years. Yeah, and around 8.15, we got an update that students are being released to go back home now. As far as when the road will re reopen, we don't have a specific time, but we are told it will be soon. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.